Let's try combining two images using Photopea. And I'm going to open my first image from the desktop of my computer. And I'm going to place in another image. And I'm going to go to Open and Place under File. And I'm going to find my next image that I'm going to combine together here. We'll hit Open. It's loading it up for us. And I'm going to hit Enter on my keyboard. And you may be thinking that I just got rid of my first image, but it just made another layer, and this layer is on top of it, and so it's covering up the image that's underneath it. And I can hit this eyeball icon and hide the visibility of the first image. I could even change the order of them and drag this one to be above that one. Um, so I'm going to work on this top layer. I'm going to remove this leaf and combine it to the image that's underneath there. So I'm going to add this layer mask. So it's under here. It says add raster mask. And here's the mask that it's adding. Next, I'm going to go and get the brush tool. Click on there. And I want to make sure that I have black selected in my color picker. And I do. And remember, you can change your brush size up here if you need a bigger or smaller brush, or you need to adjust that hardness level like we've talked about in a couple videos. I'm going to try to remove the background of this pretty quick. And you guys would spend a whole lot more time taking your time in zooming in and changing your brush size to get the details. And when you get farther away from what you're what you're cutting out, you can use a bigger brush and a bigger brush. So I'm really fast forwarding. Make sure that you guys do take a lot more time and consideration with that. And I'll keep going here. Try to get it. Okay. So we'll go with that. And you can see it just masks away the top image and reveals the image down below. I could use the move tool here and I could move it around. So maybe I'll I'll stick it to the top of this stop sign, but I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Under edit. We can use free transform. You see this bounding box that comes up around it. I'm going to click on a corner and pull. Now you'll see I can stretch this out. There's not very many cases you want to stretch an image. I'm going to hold shift at the same time, and that will lock it in so that it's not going to stretch my image. And so we'll get it where I want. I'll let go, and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. And it will lock that in there, move it up. Um, I could also duplicate this. There's a few ways you could duplicate your layer. You can right click on your layer and let it know you want it to duplicate that layer. So now I have two copies of that. They're right on top of each other. But if I use this move tool, I can click and drag that other copy away from there. And I could make a mirror image of this too. I could go to image, transform, and I could flip that horizontally. And my computer will catch up here. Looks like it did the whole image there. Let me try that again. Image, transform. Where do I need to go to do just one? I think it's under edit. Flip horizontally. There we go. So I had to go instead to edit, transform, flip horizontally. 
and that worked for me. So now I have the mirror image of my leaf over here. And that's a really simple way to combine a couple images if you wanted to. You could bring in even more and more and combine as many images as you wanted and make sort of a surreal collage there. When you got it where you like, you go to export, export as, save it as either a JPEG or a PNG. There's a zoomed in version and just hit save. And there it is when you're ready to save it where you need. And that's just a real quick look at combining a couple images.